Here is why over tightening a wheel is so dangerous. Can you imagine being out on the side of a road? And can you imagine having a flat tire, some, something that should be a, maybe a 15 or 20 minute inconvenience? So you get your four-way out, standard issue four-way, and you put it on a lug nut. Find the right size, and there it is. Only to put it on there to turn it, and you keep turning it, but it never comes off. And you keep turning, and keep turning, and you keep turning, and the bolt never releases. Well, the reason why is because that bolt has been over-tightened and ruined. With aluminum wheels especially, there is a steel nut on the inside that's encased in aluminum, and it is designed for a specific torque. And when it is over-torqued, it stretches the aluminum and literally ruins the bolt. And in this case, had I been out on the side of the road, or my wife or family would have been out on the side of the road, this tire would not get changed. and probably would have resulted in a very expensive tow uh, to a facility and probably an overnight fix. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. These lug nuts were put on so tight that a four-way lug nut, uh, a standard lug nut tool, would slip over the outside edges. Uh, the aluminum wheels have a steel nut that is encased in aluminum and when they're over tightened the aluminum stretches and literally slips over the inside of the bolt. And in this particular case, this bolt is so tight that when a socket was driven onto the lug nut, this wrench here at 435 pounds of torque will not remove it. Notice it's, Notice it's turning, but what's happening is it's actually the aluminum that is turning around the outside of the bolt. This is a bolt we were just working on. Notice, see that right there? I can literally turn the outside skin of that bolt, but the inside skin of that bolt is not, not turning at all because it has been over tightened and ruined. So what has to happen now is that very carefully, because this is an aluminum wheel, you have to chisel the outside skin off of this bolt with a metal chisel and pry and remove all of the aluminum around the inside bolt. All right, so in order to do this, very carefully take a chisel, not to get to the wheel, and you have to chisel this little raised section off right here. Do not hit so hard that you miss the chisel and hit your aluminum wheel. It will cause permanent damage that you will not be able to recover from. At this point, you take a screwdriver again, be very careful about the wheel and the aluminum around it, not to hit the aluminum wheel. Pull the aluminum away like this and wedge the screwdriver in between the aluminum shell and the bolt around it. This will take a little time and you have to be very patient because this is the only way that this bolt is going to come out of there. You just have to pry away until you clear, uh, clear the bolt and you have all metal bolt in which to, uh, to go to. Now once you have worked to get the uh, aluminum off, take a pair of pliers, be very careful, and pull this outside jacket off of the nut. And now you see the inside nut. Be very careful though not to, to nick and scratch up the inside of the aluminum wheel. Even the careful as you can be, you can probably expect a little damage. Okay, here I've taken a standard four-way and I've taken a hammer and I've 
reinforced it on top of that lug there. And now, hopefully, we'll be able to get this lug nut off. And this one eventually did come off. Unfortunately, now you've got the issue of the lug nut jammed on the end of your four-way. Now I've got some access to equipment that most people don't have. I've got a 22 millimeter socket here. Of course, every car is going to be a little different. But just to show you how badly that this has been stretched, I'm going to have to take this 22 millimeter socket, which is the right and correct size for this, and I have to literally hammer it over the outside because the aluminum had been stretched. Notice here how this turns. I was hoping to be able to have it on there so tightly that I would be able to get the impact wrench and get it off. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Let's try them. This is a 435 pound torque wrench. And we got lucky on that one. How about that? Got lucky. Alright, so we're going to have to get our four way. Since we've taken the outer skin off, it's going to be a little bit smaller than the bolt that it was. And when you find one there, now notice the four-way doesn't go all the way on. That's because the bolt is rounded on the inside where the aluminum shell rounded it off. So what we're going to do, again, a little common sense here. Tap on this. Straight in with a four-way. Get it really good. Because what you got, this is your last chance. If you mess this one up, you're in deep sneakers. I bench press about 300 pounds. I don't even know how tight that bolt is. But I gotta tell you, it's way above the specification. And I don't trust this, so I'm gonna tap it on a little bit more. Because the last thing I wanna do is round this bolt off at this point. Because I am out of options. Again, this is the conversation that you want to have with your shop before this happens. Don't get in this mess. like this one finally came off. Hopefully this video serves to make a good point. Have this conversation with your mechanic before you have this and get stuck on the side of the road. Can't get your wheel off.